So with the news that Blood Meridian is finally being made into a movie, I thought now would be a good time to break down everything that we know about the film, including the progress of the production so far, and the reason why so many still believe that the book is fundamentally unfilmable. Now, in case you've never read it, Blood Meridian, otherwise known as The Evening Redness in the West, is a 1985 Western novel written by Cormac McCarthy, who also wrote No Country for Old Men and The Road, both of which have since been adapted into popular movies. And as dark and challenging as those stories could be at times, Blood Meridian somehow manages to make them seem tame in comparison. And this is because the narrative follows a teenager called The Kid, who falls in with a gang of scalp hunters that massacre American Indians on the US-Mexican border in 1849, with the story making a concerted effort to delve into the complex, nihilistic thinking of the characters, who take a sadistic pleasure in the crimes that they're committing. Now, given this dark subject matter, it's probably not all that surprising that Blood Meridian received very little recognition upon its release. But nowadays, Blood Meridian is widely considered to be a masterpiece and one of the greatest works of American literature. So given the success of previous Cormac McCarthy adaptations and the underlining popularity of Blood Meridian, you would imagine that turning it into a movie would be an easy win, especially given the cinematic nature of its story and setting. However, the problem is that Blood Meridian is extremely violent by design, exploring this brutality in a deeply philosophical way, meaning that the story doesn't really follow a traditional narrative structure and features many complex characters like the judge who might not translate well from page to screen. But despite all this, actor and director Tommy Lee Jones believed that he could successfully adapt the book into a movie and acquired the film rights in the late 90s with a view to direct. And given that Tommy Lee Jones was apparently a close friend of McCarthy, he was determined to ensure that his movie adaptation was as faithful to the book as possible, with rumors suggesting that he wanted Jack Nicholson for the role of Judge Holden. Unfortunately, this approach seemed to be his undoing, because reports suggest that Jones was unable to find backing for the movie due to the graphic violence that his adaptation would have entailed. And so, the project was ultimately scrapped. However, in 2004, director Ridley Scott made clear that he now wanted to adapt Blood Meridian into a movie for Paramount Pictures. And despite the screenplay being fully written, again, the violence proved problematic, with Ridley Scott explaining, we got it down as a screenplay, the problem is that it's so savage, but that's what it is. If you did it properly, it would be an X certificate. So with no obvious path forward, Ridley Scott gave up on the project. And yet again, another adaptation of Blood Meridian ended in failure. But in 2011, actor and director James Franco made clear that he was now going to try his hand at adapting the infamous novel, even getting as far as shooting 20 minutes of test footage starring the likes of Scott Glenn, Mark Pellegrino, and Dave Franco. And a few years later in 2016, it seemed that Franco was actually making progress with the project, apparently hoping to star in the movie himself alongside Russell Crowe, Ty Sheridan, and Vincent D'Onofrio. But in the end, the project eventually fell apart, supposedly because of an undisclosed rights issue with the book. And so, at this point, Blood Meridian was really living up to its growing reputation of being unfilmable. Although, McCarthy himself pushed back against this notion, explaining in an interview that it would need someone with a bountiful imagination and a lot of balls, but the payoff could be extraordinary. And so, in 2023, director John Hillcoat decided to step up to the plate, having previously directed The Proposition, Lawless, and The Road. So given that Hillco had previously directed a successful adaptation of a Cormac McCarthy novel, the director already had a really good working relationship with the author, who actually agreed to write the screenplay for the movie himself, even agreeing to serve as an executive producer. So with New Regency already in agreement to produce the film, Hillco and McCarthy had long discussions about how to finally crack Blood Meridian, which the author still felt was possible, but just not all of it perhaps hinting at a removal or retooling of some of its more violent scenes. Now, as far as the casting goes, there have been no official announcements as of yet, but given that Hilco has featured Guy Pearce in most of his previous films, it's very possible that they could collaborate again on Blood Meridian. 
So, on the whole, this fourth attempt at adapting Blood Meridian really seemed like it was going to be the one that would shatter the idea that the novel was unfilmable. However, on June 13th, 2023, it was sadly announced that Cormac McCarthy had passed away at the age of 89. Now, clearly this will be a huge blow for the current adaptation of Blood Meridian, with question marks over how close the screenplay was to being finished and whether the film will even still go ahead without the direct involvement of Cormac McCarthy. And so, until we hear more, it would seem that the 28-year wait to see Blood Meridian on the big screen will continue. But let me know below, where do you stand on the idea of adapting Blood Meridian? Do you think it's possible to do the novel justice as a movie, or do you really think it is unfilmable? And while you're here, you might also want to check out this video right here.